Sunflowers of Hope celebrated its first ever Day of Hope community event in North Charleston earlier today with a mission to help the Tri-County area's unhoused population. Our Carly Baker got out there today. She has more on what types of items were distributed and which organizations participated. The Day of Hope community event served as a one-stop shop for everything from food, hygiene products, clothes, and many other useful resources. Sonia Hansen, the director and founder of Sunflowers of Hope, organized this event to educate the community about the various organizations and resources that are easily accessible and able to provide help. She also said it was a way to advocate for an end to gun violence. She shared with me how large of an impact this event has on the community. A huge impact. I mean, what we know is that gun violence is a huge issue. North Charleston is one of those hubs that we have nonprofits like these here today that are willing to come together and say we want to fight against it. And why not bring everybody together? There were around 200 people who attended the Day of Hope, as well as 32 nonprofits and organizations. Some of those organizations included the Low Country Food Bank, Our Lady of Mercy Community Outreach, Bundles of Joy, GP Hope, and many more. Along with distributing items, South State Bank was there educating people on how to open up a bank account, as well as the Medical University of South Carolina providing free HIV testing. South Carolina State Senator Dion Tedder shared with me his thoughts on the event today. Um, this is a great event. It started at 11 and it was already packed as soon as it opened up. So it shows the need for these resources for people in our community. And so I love the idea of everybody coming together, all the various organizations. Soul Harvesters Outreach Ministries also came out to the event to provide healthy food demonstrations. Their executive director told me she wanted to be able to share ways people can eat healthy and feel guilt free. She also shared why she thinks people should take advantage of these organizations. Please come out and support what organizations are doing. We have a wealth of resources that can help your families, that can help your youth, that can help you get over the hump. But we need you to come out and get the resources that have been prepared for you. So that's what I want to encourage. The attendees got to enjoy live music from the Chosen Levitts. They are a group of high school and college age musicians who play for free at events that serve the community like Day of Hope. There was also a gift card giveaway for participants. The winners were randomly selected and received either a Visa gift card or a gift card to a restaurant. Hansen tells me that they plan to have another Day of Hope event in September and that she hopes that even more people come out. Reporting in North Charleston, Carly Baker, Live 5 News.